I want to solve some problems from section 9.3 and remember these were the problems that will be on your final but were not on any of the earlier tests. First problem says find the percent of the area under a normal curve between the mean and the given number of standard deviations from the mean. And this is problem number 158 actually from the practice final. Um, and we want to do um, 0.83 standard deviations from the mean. Now when it says standard deviation from the mean, you know you're working with the Z value. The Z, those Z scores are stand, measures of standard deviation from the mean. Now you don't necessarily have to draw a picture, but in my mind, it'll be a lot clearer, make a lot more sense if you do. So you have a normal curve, and you're measuring standard deviations from the mean. Now, for a standard normal, those Z values, those Z scores, the mean is always zero. That's the mean. So you want it to be 0 0.83. 0 0.83, let's say, is here. And we want it to be 0 0.83, that's to the right, standard deviation from the mean. Remember, the Z values are measured in standard deviation. So 0 0.3 means less than one standard deviation from the mean. So what we're actually looking for is that area that I've shaded here. Let's see a little better now, maybe. Also keep in mind that the table that you're using to look these things up, give values to the left. So for example here, looking at these table values, if you ever forget that the, whether they measure to the left or the right, you can look at the table itself. It shades in areas to the left of a particular z-value. So in this table, the values are always the area under the curve from negative infinity all the way up to the z value, in other words, to the left. Now, when I look up 0.83 in that table, it's going to give me the value from 0.83 all the way back, and that's not what I want. But if I look up zero, it's going to give me the value from here on back. And if I subtract the two, it's going to give me the value in between. In other words, just as we talked about in class, when you're finding the area between two z values, you simply take the bigger number, the one to the right, and look up the probability that it's less than that from the table. And then you take up take the rightmost number, I mean excuse me, the leftmost number, which in this case is zero, and subtract the two. So the probability that z is less than 0.83 is all the way back here. The probability that z is less than zero is here, and if you subtract the two, you get in between. So what you need to remember is that when you're finding the value, uh, the, the probability of z being between two numbers, you take the bigger number, look it up in the table, a smaller number, look it up in the table, subtract the two results. Well, let's do that. Now, keep in mind that the table, I'm going to zoom in a little tighter so you can see these numbers a little better, I hope. Well, let's see. I'm looking up 0.83. Well, those are negatives, so I want to go to the other page. Those are negatives. Now I'm looking at 0.83. So you go down to 0.8, which is this row, and you're going to 0.83. The first column, if you're looking at the top, starts with 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way. So if you're looking at 0.83, then you go at the point 0.8 row and go 0, 1, 2, 3. So you get this number right here, 0 .9, 0 .7967, 0 0.7967. And 
And remember, you got that from the table by looking up the rightmost number. Then you look up the leftmost number, which is zero. So you go to the table, look again. Well, zero, zero is right here, it's 0.5. So the probability that z is less than zero is 0.5. And subtract. And you end up with, if you do that subtraction, 0.2967. They ask for the percent of the area, so if you want to change that to a percent, that would be 29.67%. Remember, you change something to a percent, you move the decimal two places to the right. So, well, I forgot to zoom back out. Excuse me. So, as it turns out, uh, about 29.67% of the area is between those two values. Simple enough. Also, I would say this without saying you have to do it this way. When you're using z values and you get a zero, it's always going to be 0.5 uh, regardless of whether you look at the table or not because the standard normal has a mean of zero and it's symmetric. Half the area is to the left and half the area is to the right. So I knew as soon as I saw this zero right here that the probability is going to come out to be 0.5. Yeah, you can still look it up if you don't want to remember that.